This problem in mathematics was shown on the TV series The Simpsons and was highlighted in a video by Mathologer. You should definitely watch his video. In the TV show, the blackboard shows some simple mathematics that comes out all wrong for no obvious reason. Mathologer claims that the steps are all correct and that the problem is simply that the left hand side of the equation is of infinite value. The real error comes from the first line of the workings. But it is not that the infinity symbol has been missed out from the big sigma. This infinity is often assumed anyway. The big sigma is just a shorthand way of writing out a series. It is very commonly used. When you write out what the big sigmas mean, the values do look identical. The brackets don't have any mathematical function, they just show how the terms were generated. When you write out the partial sums, you can start to see the difficulty. There is a 6 on the top sigma, but only a 3 on the one below. But since both values are going to become infinite, then why is that an issue? Let's take a step back for a moment and consider an infinite series S, which we double to 2S. If you then subtract 1 from the other, you get the entirely stupid result, minus 1. What on earth went wrong? Now we need to step back a bit again and see where we went wrong. What we did is we negligently ignored the last term in the series. This had a really huge value. Clearly, this is an illegal operation, mathematically speaking. If you want to retain an equality, it is probably best not to ignore the biggest term in the equation. The problem is this age-old conceptual infinity symbol. It is not a mathematical constant or variable and does not behave as a mathematical object. It has no business being used in equations as they are no longer guaranteed to make any sense. We need to switch to an infinity symbol which does behave as a number and which does belong in equations. Now, finally, infinity makes sense. We can make an equality out of the two sigma expressions for any large even value of h but it is a bit boring to write out that lot each time. Instead, we can just write out the equality using the phi symbol, and magically infinity and mathematics just make sense again, even to school kids. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.